Welcome back to Copper Star Precision, the channel dedicated to getting you more points at your competitive shooting matches. Today we're going over the December 2023 NRL 22 Course of Fire. It's a pretty straightforward Course of Fire. A um, couple little things here and there that might trip people up. This Course of Fire, the trend seems to be more about remembering the target order than actually having crazy positions and that kind of stuff. So pretty straightforward stage on a positional standpoint. But again, target order is going to matter. So case in point, Stage number one in the booklet is called Wobbly Reminder. And something interesting about this new course of fire, they're actually putting the target sizes in MOA and mills. Hmm, I wonder if someone watches my videos and got that idea. So I can put the, uh, the target sizes up here or up here. And the stage description is as follows. On the start signal, you'll take a position on the top of the sawhorse and engage the targets in the following order. Double tap the near target, then middle, then far. Double tap the middle target, then far, then near. Double tap the far target, near, then middle. So essentially we're going near, middle, far, middle, far, near, far, near, middle. But each time you start a sequence, you're engaging the first target that you engage twice. So again, kind of like what I was saying, target order and, and sort of the course of fire is gonna trip people up. But it's a pretty straightforward stage otherwise. We have a sawhorse here. As far as gear goes, some sort of wedge shaped bag. This is Armageddon Gears pint size game changer simply just goes over here. If you have a sawhorse that has a much wider flat top, I always recommend turning this bag sideways. So we've got our bag here. Um, you may also want to consider bringing in a pump pillow. I'll show you that in a second, but pretty straightforward stage. Uh, as far as dialing or holding over, I think holdovers is the way to go. Uh, it's a lot of dialing if you're going to dial and it's just probably just easier just to keep things in your head if you're holding over. Um, so because we have the target sizes here, that second target, my dope for the second target, if I'm zeroed at 50, that 64 yard target is about four tenths of a mil and the target is uh, nine tenths wide. So I can just aim at the top of the target, middle of the target will be four and a half or 0.45 mils. So that, that's basically my holdover built in and then the far target I'm holding 1.3. So as far as positions and options for that go, here I leave the bipod on because it helps balance the rifle the way it is. Again, having a balanced rifle is extremely important, but we can take a couple positions. When the timer goes off, bag down, rifle down, we can come in both knees down, using my left hand here, holding onto the fore end of the rifle, stabilizing the rifle. This is really solid, just like that. So two knees down is an option. Uh, one knee up, again, trying to keep that knee kind of 90 degrees. And then I can dig my elbow into uh, my thigh here. Remember, not bone on, not bone on bone contact. We want uh, bone on muscle contact. So I can come in here, sort of wedge my elbow into this pocket here. This is extremely stable. If you want to go one knee up, you can also incorporate a pump pillow here just to take up a little bit of that space between uh, your armpit and forearm. And this here also very stable. Again, trying to keep that that leg at 90 degrees. And uh, yeah, this is basically what I would do. Pump pillow comes in here. So we're gonna engage near target twice. So I'm holding straight up. Next target, holding the top of the target, middle target, engage. Far target, holding 1.3, engage there. If you only have half mil hash marks and you, you come in with a, uh, a dope of like 1.3, Halfway in between the 1 and the 1.5 gives you 1.25, close enough to 3 there. But again, pretty straightforward stage. Um, just about building a good position, whether that be two knees down, one knee down, or one knee down with sort of a pump pillow filling in that gap. Again, left hand up here, four into the rifle, stabilizing everything, super solid. And it's just a matter of finding the targets. Keep your magnification at a reasonable level, sometimes between somewhere between 12 and 15 power for faster target acquisition. And because we're not really changing positions very much, you know, take the time at the beginning to get a stable position, whatever suits you best, and then just know your dope, know your holdovers. Maybe have a dope card here with the different uh, targets you have to engage and maybe even the target order. So you could put like NNMF for near, near, middle, far. And the next one would be MM. FN for middle, middle, far, near. Uh, whatever works for you, come up with a solution, but pretty straightforward stage here to start off December Course of Fire. If you like these videos and they help out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
posting videos all this week on the December course of fire. So until I see you in the next one, as always, score more points.